Hello students, my name is Addis Taye. I'll give you a lecture on physical geography of Africa. The content include position, size, shape of Africa, geologic history and relief structure of Africa, climate, drainage, natural vegetation and wild animal of Africa. When we see the location of Africa, Africa's location can be expressed in two ways. These are absolute location and relative location. Absolute location shows the location of an area by using astronomical grid reference. Relative location shows the location of an area with reference to land bodies and water bodies. When we see the absolute location of Africa, Africa lies between 37 degree to 21 minute north and 34 degree to 52 minutes south latitude and between 70 degree to 33 minutes west and 51 degree to 28 east longitudes. This means the continent extends for about 37 degree to the north of the equator and also 35 degree south of it. From this absolute location, we conclude that Africa stretches in both hemispheres. Africa has four extreme points. These are the northern, the southern, the eastern, and the western extreme point. The northern extreme point of Africa is Cape Bon, which is found in Tunisia at 37 degrees to 21 minutes north. The eastern extreme point of Africa is Cape Gaddafi, which is found in Somalia at 51 degrees to 28 minutes. The extreme point of south is Cape Agulahas, which is found in Republic of South Africa found at 34 degrees to 52 minutes south. The extreme point of west is Cape Verde, which is found in Senegal at 17 degrees to 33 minutes west. When you see the relative location of Africa, Africa is found south of Europe, southwest of Asia, west of the Indian Ocean and east of the Atlantic Ocean. A Strait of Gibraltar connects Africa with Europe, only 20 kilometer distance between Africa and Europe with the Strait of Gibraltar. A Strait of Babel Mandeb connect Africa with Asia. The distance between Africa and Asia is only 40 kilometers, and Suez Canal connect Africa with Asia. Let's move to the size and shape of Africa. The shape of Africa. Africa is the second largest continent in terms of size, next to Asia, and it has relatively compact shape. Based on this, the main land of Africa divided into five regions. These are Eastern Africa, Central, Northern, Southern, and Western Africa. This African region divided into five based on socio-economic and cultural similarities. When we see the map of Africa, Africa divided into five regions, as we have seen in the above explanation, based on socio-economic and cultural similarities. In terms of size, the largest one is Northern Africa. And Northern Africa has long life expectancy because it is well developed economically when we compare to the other region of Africa. And 
In terms of population, the largest one is Eastern Africa, and the second one is Western Africa. The life expectancy of Eastern Africa is very short. This shows that Eastern Africa less developed region, and the smallest region is Southern Africa. The North, South, and West East extent of Africa is almost similar. Let us see each region of Africa. East Africa. East Africa is the region that is located between 80 degree north and 27 degree south latitude and also it is found 22 degree east up to 51 to 28 east longitude. This region is the largest in terms of area. It accounts for about 21% of the continent total area. East Africa has 18 countries, of which seven are landlocked. For example, Ethiopia is landlocked locked country. And when you see the physiographic feature of East Africa, East Africa has diverse climate. This diverse climate is the result of diverse relief future. So Africa, except the Mediterranean, type of climate, all type of climate dominate the African region. And also it drained by the Nile, the Wabi Shabale, and Ganali River. It also the region where the most highland and rift valley lakes found in this region. For example, Lake Victoria in Ethiopia, the largest highland lake that is Tana is found in this region. And Rift Valley lakes of Ethiopia like Abaya, Shala, Langano, all these lakes found in Africa. In terms of population, East Africa is the largest. Fertility in Eastern Africa is very high. Mortality also very high, but fertility is greater than mortality. The life expectancy of East Africa is 51 years. That means the mortality rate of East Africa also very high. And when you see the economic activity of East Africa, agriculture is the most dominant economic activity of this region. In this region, mining and industry little developed. Let's proceed to the second region of Africa, that is the Northern Africa. Northern Africa is the largest region in terms of area. There are seven countries in this region, two of which, namely Sudan and Algeria, among the largest states is found in this region. And all of the state of East Africa directs access to the sea. When we see the climatic characteristics of North Africa, it is mostly dominated by desert climate. But the Mediterranean type of climate is dominated the Maghreb region. Topographic future, it's mostly dominated by mountain and plain. Much of the northern Africa covered by desert vegetation because most of the northern Africa has the climatic type of desert. And nearly 15% of the region population live in urban area. And the life expectancy of this region is 69 years. This shows that from the other region of Africa, the northern part is well developed economically. So. The economic activity of this region is dominated by agriculture, industry, and 
mining. The third region of Africa is the Western African. It accounts for about 20% of the African total area. And it has 17 countries. The climate of Western Africa, the climate of the region shows the great variation. The Western coast expands the tropical humid climate. Because of this, this area has very high rainfall and very high temperature because of the effect of onshore winds. We know students what is onshore winds. Onshore winds are winds that start from water bodies. So these onshore winds give rainfall for Western Africa. But the interior lowlands are characterized by low rainfall and high temperature. In terms of size, it is the second most populous region in the continent. Africa is the most populous country. Nigeria is found in this region. 42% of the region population lies in the urban area and the life expectancy of this region is 51. So the economic activity of Western Africa dominated by agriculture. Central Africa accounts 22% of Africans total area and it has nine countries and it is the second largest continent next to Northern Africa. So Central Africa has diverse climate except the Mediterranean type. The equatorial, tropical, mountain or highland and desert climate. Life expectancy of Central Africa is 51 years. And the economic activity of Central Africa based on agriculture, forestry, mining and manufacturing. The last and the smallest region of Africa is the southern part. The southern Africa is the smallest region of the continent. It is divided into five sovereign states. When you see the climate of southern Africa, it is highly diverse. There are tropical, desert, and also Mediterranean climates found in this region. And also 56% of the region population live in urban area. The life expectancy of Southern Africa is 52 years. So students depend on the above lesson, Africa divided into five regions based on uh, socioeconomic and cultural similarities. The largest region in Africa is the northern in terms of area. The smallest is the southern Africa. In terms of population, the most populous region of Africa is the eastern Africa. The northern Africa has long life expectancy, that is 69 years. But in East Africa, Western Africa, fertility is very high, so the population growth rate also very high, but the life expectancy is very low, that is 51 years. This region, like Western and Eastern Africa, less developed economically. Students, let us move to the second lesson that is geological history and relief structure of Africa. 
Students, what is geology? What does geological history mean? How do geologists study the Earth's past? Please, students, think about this brainstorming question for three minutes. When you see the geological history of Africa throughout the 4.5 billion years history of the planet, several geological processes act on the planet and form different or diverse early future. The age of the Earth is 4.5 billion years. In this process, Africa underwent several major geological events and changes. The continent of Africa was the part of the old continent that we call it Pangea. Pangea is the old continent split into two during Mesozoic era and in Jurassic period before 200 million years. Why Pangea split into two? Because of continental drifting. So Pangea split into two during Mesozoic era. The two continents are Lauro, Asia, and Gondwana. Africa is the part of Gondwana land. Let us see what events happened in each era. The known eras are four. These are the Precambrian era, the Paleozoic era, Mesozoic, and Cenozoic era. Students, let us see what events happened during Precambrian era in Africa. Let us see the age of Precambrian era. It is 14.5 billion up to 600 million years 
before the present. Because of the remoteness of the time, there is no full information about Precambrian era. But orogenesis and basement complex rock is formed during this era. Orogenesis means mountain forming process. And formation of basement complex rock, that is Precambrian rock, the Precambrian rocks rich in metallic mineral, for example, like copper and gold. During this time, the two events happened in Africa, formation of basement complex rocks and orogenesis, because there is no full evidence or fossils about Precambrian era. Students, let's proceed to the second era, that is Paleozoic. The age of Paleozoic era is between 600 up to 215 million years before the present. So the following are the most important events that happened in this era. For example, series of denudation and peniplanation of the land because of heavy erosion. Heavy erosion is occurred in this era. The land is denudated and Peniplanation is formed during this time and formation of coal during Carboniferous period. But there is no significant rock formation during this time. The third era is Mesozoic. The age is between 250 to 70 million years before the present. The Mesozoic era is the third largest and the third oldest era in the geological history of the Earth. For Africa, the era was the time of alternative thinking and rising of the land. During this era, the Horn of Africa sink and rise. This era is divided into three periods. These are Triassic period, Jurassic period, Crustaceous period. During the first period, that is Terracic, there was sinking of the land in the eastern part of the continent because of internal force. And during Jurassic period, all the Horn of Africa invaded by the sea. And also rising and uplifting of the land began in Crustaceous period. So during Mesozoic era, different events happened. For example, in our country in Ethiopia, different sedimentary rock is formed, like Hintalol, upper sandstone, and Adigrat sandstone is formed during Mesozoic era. And also the old continent that is Panja split into two during Jurassic period. Different events happened during Mesozoic era. Regression and transgression of the sea from the Indian Ocean also happened during this time. The last era is Cenozoic era. The age of Cenozoic era is between 7 million to the present. The present land future is the result of Cenozoic era. So Cenozoic era is divided into two. These are the tertiary period and the quaternary period. Let us see what events happened in this era. The formation of Mediterranean Sea, the Great East African Rift Valley, uh, the Red Sea and Gulf of Eden is formed during tertiary period of the Cenozoic era. The present land future is the result of Cenozoic era. And also climate changes the result in the cooling and later warming of the Earth's climates during this era and also formation of many volcanic mountain during this era and also young fold mountain formed during this era. 
let's move to the relief structure of Africa. In the above lesson, we have seen about the four eras, the Precambrian, Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and Cenozoic. In Africa, during Precambrian era, orogenesis and basement complex rock is formed. During Mesozoic era, denudation and penblanation of the land, and also heavy erosion occur in Africa, coal also formed during Paleozoic era, but there is no tangible rock formation during Paleozoic era. The third era is Mesozoic era. During Mesozoic era in Africa, different events happen. For example, different type of sedimentary rock is formed during Mesozoic era, Panja split during Mesozoic era, uplifting and sinking of the land because of internal force happened during Mesozoic era. The last and the recent era is Cenozoic, so the present land future of Africa is the result of Cenozoic era. So volcanic mountains like Gulf of Eden, Mediterranean Sea, the Great East Africa that stretch from Mozambique and in Syria formed during Cenozoic era. Let us proceed to the relief structure of Africa. As you have seen in the above lesson, the relief structure of Africa is the result of tertiary period of Cenozoic era. And Africa has diverse relief future like mountain, plain, valley, gorges, and the like. This diverse relief future of Africa results in diverse climate conditions. So Africa has diverse climate. Students, this is our today lesson. Next day, we will learn about the relief structure of Africa. Thank you.